now have a report on a joint research project between CII and the Charles Pankow Foundation called Maximizing Success on Integrated Projects, an Owner's Guide. This updates a 1997 study on project delivery approaches. This time, the researchers created a structural equation model that explains how team integration influences project success. Here to share the results of the research project is Greg Gadez from Hensel Phelps Construction. Uh, good afternoon, these are tough acts to follow, huh? Uh, how should an owner choose a project delivery method and award a project? Should it be fully designed and, and given to the lowest bidder? Or should it be from hiring the best, most qualified design and construction team? In 1997-98, CII, CII research team 133 presented results at this annual conference that showed design-build delivered projects faster and a lower cost uh, than construction manager at risk or design-bid-build methods. The study was groundbreaking and laws were changed around the country to allow more flexibility in design-build delivery. However, owners have questioned if these results uh, still apply. To address changes in the industry, our team has conducted the largest building project delivery study in 17 years since the Seminole CII 133 work. Our research team has representation from the owner and the entire design and construction supply chain. Public owners, private owners, designers, general contractors, and specialty trades were all part of the research from the scoping through the realization of the results. Additionally, two of the principal investigators from the RT-133 uh, study, Mark Conchar and Victor Sanvito, are on board to help us learn from their prior project experience. Our research sought to, uh, sought to improve owner project delivery decisions by providing practical guidance based on empirical evidence. Practical guidance for both the experienced owner and the novice owner. Let's look at the results of these two studies. In 1998, CII 133 team asked the fundamental question, how do project delivery methods impact performance? Our study expanded on this question to ask, how does the level of integration impact project delivery success? We expanded our scope to cover procurement approaches, payment methods, team behaviors, and project environments. With the new statistical tools available, the team modeled the, the complexities between the variables and looked beyond the relationship between delivery method and project success. Our results confirmed and expanded upon the 1997-98 study. Combined design and construction contracts were faster than split contracts. That's separate contracts for design and construction. Cost and quality were driven by procurement approaches and payment methods. These were not, results were not a gut feeling, but are based on a rich empirical analysis that provides a wealth of information that can help owners make better decisions. So let's look at the data. Our findings are based on 204 projects from across the country. Uh, these public and private uh, buildings were completed between 2008 and 2013. Educational, office buildings, healthcare, and lodging made up more than 75% of our projects. 50% of our projects range between 50,000 and 250,000 square feet. Due to the level of detail and rigorous data verification with owners and project participants, our data took more than 15 months to complete. I would like to summarize some, some of our most important statistical correlations. First, delivery methods alone do not predict success. Rather, it was a complex set of variables that could be used across project delivery methods to improve an owner's chance of a successful outcome. Second, the lines between the standard delivery methods are becoming blurred. This is a different from the previous environment of the, CR, uh, the CII RT-133 team. Many owners think of project delivery strategies that thoughtfully consider how organizational structure, payment terms, and team assembly can work together. Finally, our statistical models found that owners drive success by strategies that promote team integration and group cohesion, by, select, by selecting strategies that promote, uh, excuse me, uh, we will further define team integration and group cohesion 
in a concrete manner in implementation sessions. However, a brief overview shows that early involvement of the primary builder and specialty contracts provides faster de delivery speed and better, group co uh, better team cohesion reduces cost growth, provides higher system quality and a better project turnover for experience for the owner. The, res the research results can be summarized in three simple statements. Best performing delivery strategies maximize early in team involvement of the core team, qualifications based team selection and transparency and cost accounting. Our research team identified five classes of project would provide the early involvement of the builder in key specialty trades resulted in faster delivery and construction speed. We also found that the qualifications based selection and open book pricing improved schedule performance, integration and cohesion. The lines between delivery methods have become blurred. Our latent class statistical models helped us to identify five classes of projects in our database, most of which have representation from multiple project delivery methods. This slide explains that the early involvement of the builder in the specialty trades. Class one has the latest involvement of the builder in specialty trades, class five has the earliest. The graph on the right shows how class one projects involve builder and specialty trades almost exclusively at the end of the design phase and construction documents after the, complete, the design is complete. The horizontal axis shows when builders and specialty trades become involved from pre-design stage on the left uh, to uh, construction documents on the right. Class one projects assemble the team almost exclusively after the design was complete. Class five projects involve the contractor and espresso trades during the schematic design document phase. Note that all the projects involved, not only the builder but the schematic, uh, by schematic design, but the key specialty trades as well. It is from these five project classes that we are able to create our detailed results. We use a series of statistical equation methods to, discer to discover how these classes relate to group cohesion and team integration, which in turn are correlated to project success. If you come to our breakout sessions, we'll explain how group cohesion and team integration relate to tangible activities such as participation in project goal setting, design charrettes, building information modeling, planning and use, co-location, timeliness of communication, and goal commitment resulting in the success of our 204 projects. This figure shows the 204 projects mapped across their factor scores for team integration and group cohesion. As a group, the data looks scattered. However, when examined under the lens of integration and cohesion, we find some very relevant insights. For example, 70% of the projects in the database that were delivered late had below averages levels of team integration. Come to our implementation session to learn more about these findings. In summary, we have mapped the five classes of project group to group cohesion and team integration as shown on this graph. Project classes three and five uh, demonstrated reduced cost growth, higher system quality, and, and improved turnover experience. Project classes four and five experienced reduced schedule growth, enabled more intense schedules, and led to more group cohesion. While these statistical results are novel and exciting, the, the re, they would not benefit owners without a practical application. So our team has created a practical guidance for owners focusing on selecting an appropriate project delivery strategy to design and construct a facility that ma maximizes success for the owners. The, the guide describes a workshop approach, excuse me, uh, to selecting a project delivery strategy and provides a template for running a workshop and documenting the outcomes. We have summarized the procedures in three steps. Step one involves defining the project goals and constraints. Owners must be clear on these project goals and constraints and select the right to delivery strategy for the, each project. Next, the owners should explore the delivery strategy options. And this involves a critical review of the available organizational considerations or delivery methods, the contract payment needs, and the team as assembly considerations. The guide provides a structural structured approach for discussion and rich examples in the appendix. Finally, the owner puts it all together in an optimal delivery strategy. Uh, this guide is available through your conference app, by the way. 
We have a diverse panel of owners and, and academics for our imp implementation session. In the implementation session, you will learn more about the re research results, get a chance to use the guide through a case study application, and have ample time to ask questions of the research team. Similar to the 1998 RT133 study, we believe our current research will help drive industry change and transformation. While no single delivery strategy works for all projects, our research shows that early involvement of the core team, qualified base selection, and transparency in a cost accounting will improve owners' chances of project delivery success. We encourage you all to come to our implementation study and learn more about our, our uh, research. Thank you. <laughs>